Well, everybody, right now, my name is Lynn Hinderocker. It's April 8th. There's something is very interesting coming up right now. It's, it's, it's a personal growth kind of a presentation. It's taking place at the Swanson Library at 90th and Dodge, as I mentioned earlier, with some other previous presentations. But this is the most dramatic, the most dramatic presentation you may hear ever, certainly in my life. And it's called Earthquake. Back in 1989, I was uh, living in uh, San Francisco, and I uh, was on the phone in my office. And all of a sudden, the bookcase began to <laughs> teeter, and the books were falling out, and people were screaming in the, in the office building. I didn't know what to think. I was obviously from the Midwest. I had no idea what a, a volcano or an earthquake would look like. I heard people screaming. I ran out the door, and I realized I had to run like <clears throat> two blocks to get to a condominium, tall apartment building where... Uh, my wife and I lived, and I heard screaming all around me. I heard all these businesses were, were, were falling down or partially falling down. I heard people out in the Oakland Bay Bridge screaming for help. It was really an odd thing. It wasn't quite as dramatic as the recent Turkey volcanoes that we uh, witnessed on the news recently, but it was almost uh, that severe. So I ran and I ran and I ran and I finally uh, got to my uh, building. I was very worried that my wife wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be there, but she was, thank goodness. And I asked her, why didn't this building fall down like all the ones around the general area here? Right? She said, you know, I, I talked to some people about that and uh, they said that there were rollers or buffers underneath the basement uh, of the building so that when, when ground moved, the, uh, the entire building would adjust itself uh, as appropriate and stay stay standing. Now, we've been through the pandemic the last two, two and a half years. Uh, a lot of uh, symbolic buildings are falling, crumbling. Uh, a lot of people are rethinking uh, uh, what they're doing with their lives and their business and so on. And, and so I want to tell you right now that this presentation is going to be symbolic, but the question is going to be, what are your buffers? What are your rollers? What's going to hold your building up high uh, during the earthquake, during the symbolic turbulence that we've endured the last several years. So again, my name is Lynn Hinderocker. I hope you come to Swanson Library. That's uh, out in 90th and Dodge on Saturday, April 8th from 1 to 2.30. 1 to 2.30 early afternoon at Swanson Library. You're going to learn about the earthquake and you're going to be thinking reflectively and contemplatively about the earthquake in your life and in your career and how you're standing up and what you need to do to develop resilience that's the key word, resilience. That's April 8th.